Alright. Hi everybody and welcome back to Pending the Real Meal. I am Simone. And I'm Jacqueline. And we are a mother-daughter duo all the way from, from Jamaica. Jamaica. Living in the UK. Yeah. yeah. Um, this week we are on our way to Egypt. <laughs> And we started this channel because we are stuck in our homes. We wanted to travel and unfortunately right now we can't. So we thought what was the best way of still getting to explore different cultures and their cuisine and you know just trying to see ourselves somewhere else and kind of get out of this depression. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can follow us on this journey and if you want to you can potentially take part um, most of the links to all the foods and all the places that we journey to will be in the description box below and just like subscribe share comment so guys we are on our way to Egypt as we said before we have six amazing dishes that we are going to try today the first being Gashari which is their national dish and it's just a lay on oh, you know, rice and lentils, pasta, tomato sauce, more lentils, fried onions, hummus, everything that a vegetarian, I think, would dream of <laughs> in one bowl. And then we have the um ali, which is a dessert. Yes, it's an Egyptian bread pudding, mm -hmm. which looks so really yummy. good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we also have the kofta, which is a meatball, Egyptian meatball. And we have the falafel, which is a very popular, um, it's, well, it's not Egyptian in Jamaica, it's Lebanese, mm. um, made of chickpeas yeah. and fried, really, really nice. And we also have karkade, which is the sorrel. It's the same thing we have in Jamaica, same sorrel. Yeah. Um, they draw it as a tea and they have that. And last but not least, they have the, the tzatziki, which who knows if I'm pronouncing right <laughs> but that is basically a yogurt and cucumber dip which goes with everything right. so <laughs> we're looking forward to having a grand meal today yeah so we right. are about to dig in yes yeah. so guys what we are gonna do now is just show you how the typical um, kushari would be layered oh, start with the rice noodles on top of that uh, rice again on top of that tomato sauce Oops. some lentils okay. some onions this onions look like it's gonna just really make it taste So we're going to taste this now. Ready to dig into the, the kofta? Yeah. Great. Mm. There's just so many different textures and flavors going on in one. It's very hard to describe. Yeah. Because there's so many different things happening, as you said. And there's nothing I've ever eaten that tastes like this. They're all gonna tie well together, I think. Mm. Flavors blend well together. This is why it's so hard to describe because it, it's power packed. <laughs> this is definitely not your typical Jamaican meal. Mm -mm. We would never, because we're we're a very meaty nation, I think. Right. This is vegetarian. What's well, good vegetarian? <laughs> really good national dish mm -hmm. I don't know what I expected <laughs> but it's, it's really tasty mm. I personally would not lay off rice and peas on pasta on rice and peas ever <laughs> but it works Works very well. I'm sure when we go to Egypt, we'll probably sample this. <laughs> Maybe it might taste different. 
Definitely have this one. <laughs> Currently, if you don't notice, we are in front of the Pyramids of Giza. <laughs> and, well, this is actually one of the seven wonders of the world. And for over 3,800 years, it was actually the tallest man-made structure measuring 481 feet. So, what I kind of find interesting is that people who have been to Egypt, they say that obviously when they go there, it's like, oh, that's just it. But if you're really thinking about the Egyptians who had no way of, you know, using tractors and, you know, heavy duty machinery, mm -hmm. the ability to make a 481 foot structure for amazing. a tomb. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's amazing it's crazy right and then what was interesting was that they would bury the pharaohs in those tombs with lots of treasures yeah because they thought that they would like tr you know transition with, with them. them to the afterlife yeah so so when the arch archaeologists dug up those tombs they found lots of treasure lucky them <laughs> <laughs> so I, I really couldn't wait to get to the St. Catherine Monastery. This is a monastery that is built on Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. which was supposed to have been the same place where Moses saw the burning bush. Oh, yeah. And also, if, if everybody remembers that Mount Sinai was where the Ten Commandments were given. <laughs> but it's 5,000 feet above sea level, wow. which is quite high. And for Moses to have climbed up there, wow, that must have been a feat. <laughs> Indeed. Right? Yeah, so, so this monastery um, had, was never destroyed, which is very, very unique because a lot of the monasteries were, were destroyed. This, of, of course, was Christian, so it was 500, built around five, 500 AD. And so, can't wait to, to look around, right? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great, actually, yeah. We need to get a selfie there, you know. <laughs> so, right. what we have here today, what we're going to try first is the cocktail. Yes. That's so the beef balls, right? Yeah. Let's see, been waiting to taste this. It's so interesting how we've tried so many different meatballs. Mm-hmm. And it all tastes so different. Yeah. This is very bready. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. they ask because you put some more bread than yeah. you were supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, this one here. I think we went so a little overboard with the bread. A bit bready. Mm -hmm. We're gonna try it with the. You, you already tried it with the. We're gonna try it with the tzatziki, mm -hmm. which is the yogurt and cucumber. Yep. Mmm. 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 I don't know. Like the for me, the tzatziki is like a nice, cool dip. Mm -hmm. You know, like something that's very very refreshing. I don't know. What would you have this with? I don't know. Like a tortilla. Or some, I don't know. It's it's special. It's really yes, really it's very cool. different because it's it's made with yogurt and it's very cucumber, light. garlic, some salt and pepper. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, now onto the falafel, which is normally kind of more in the shape of a kofta, but they also do it like a fritto as well. So right, please do not be alarmed. <laughs> Just have this one. Okay. Very spicy and tasty. This is really nice. Mm -hmm. It's like a savory pancake. <laughs> Don't know if that's a very It's a fritter. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And uh, this is 100% vegetarian. I can't say vegan, but <laughs> definitely vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Also tastes good with a dip. So guys, you have no change location. We are at the Thistle Gorm Dive, which is underwater if you don't know by now. And it is below the Red Sea in Sinai. Now, the Thistle Gorm Dive was the, um, it's basically a ship that sank, the SS Thistle Gorm. So it sank around 80 years ago and it actually costs about 50, 115,000 pounds to build at the time which 
if you calculate it in this year, in this era, it's about 5.5 million yeah, pounds. <laughs> and um, it was actually sunk in World War II by the Germans by an accident, basically. <laughs> they were actually supposed to hit the RMS Queen Mary and I guess they couldn't find them so they just bombed them instead. Very, very sorry about that, <laughs> but that's what happened. So the, the, the ship was actually on its fourth voyage. The first was to America to get like steel and stuff for aircrafts and stuff. <laughs> then it went to Argentina and they got cereals and grains. And then they went to the West Indies. And do you know what they got in the West Indies? They got rum. Rum. <laughs> Where the rum come from? Yeah. I don't know if they got drunk or what, but their fourth trip um, was not that successful. So now, <laughs> as a result, they're under the sea in Mount Sinai, and I actually would really love to go and check that out. Yeah. Yeah. Based on what I remember, Jacques, Jacques Costou, mm -hmm. he actually found the ship. And when he found it, he didn't want the world to know where it was because he expected that they would try to rob the treasures. But when we were growing up, which was a long time ago, there was this man called Jacques Costou who would go to the bottom of the earth, <laughs> they call it bottom of the sea, to, um, to discover treasures. I, I remember there was a song that went with it, but yeah, Jacques Costou. Alright guys, now to wash it down, we have the Carcade. Jamaican sorrow! Basically, as you said, it's a hibiscus leaf and they usually either have it as a hot tea or a cold drink, which is how we would normally have sorrow generally. So yeah, let's try it. Good old sorrel. <laughs> good old sorrel. Mm. No rum, no ginger, but really good. Still good. Really good. <laughs> right. So, in digging up the arche, you know, the, the the archaeologists as they dug up Egypt, one of the pictures that they found was a was a was a painting of one of the the female pharaohs playing board games would you believe that yeah. one would not believe that board games were as far back as then and so they played board games another interesting thing we found was that they actually went on a strike they they went on labor strikes okay. for, for better pay <laughs> <laughs> wow and so i found that very interesting that even in those days they were you know there were ways and means of getting better better salaries and yeah and i think what's interesting about that was that they viewed pharaoh as a god or their god right so it's kind of interesting because you're thinking if he's your god then he should know what's best for you right. in terms of pay <laughs> like, i would love to believe so <laughs> but yeah we are on to our last item and that is the Um, um Ali. <laughs> As you said, it's an Egyptian bread pudding and here it is in front of us. It actually has raisins, coconuts, sliced almonds, um, puff pastry. Yeah, the puff pastry. There's a bit of coconut. Sugar. <clears throat> the coconut, yeah. That's basically it. And some cream and milk you just baked good stuff we hope <laughs> let's taste <laughs> this is an egyptian bread pudding and it tastes like this an is egyptian amazing. Bread pudding. this is not bread pudding this is elevated bread pudding <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing it's nice warm too mm -hmm. it's like rich and creamy yeah, so guys, if you don't know by now, we're in Alexandria, and it is actually the third largest city in Egypt. Uh, this 
being behind Cairo and Giza. It is actually also known as the Bride of the Mediterranean. This this bread pudding is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so traditionally physicians were jack of all trades. But what they found in Egypt was that they had specialists. Mm. And so they had what they called a doctor of the tooth. <laughs> or a doctor of the anus. <laughs> or a doctor of the foot <laughs> and so um, I found that interesting that even from as far back as 3,000 years ago people were actually doctors were actually specializing mm. in various areas yeah cool. last but not least we are at the Siwa Oasis yep it's an oasis basically so it's just a something that looks like something that isn't basically <laughs> But it is known as one of the most beautiful places in Egypt and it is known for its dates and olives. Mm. Yeah, they actually say that the Siwanians, every October, they have this humongous three day festival and they, you know, just talk about, they, they, they settle all of their disputes and they literally just celebrate for three whole days. The world should do that, man. Yeah. Even one day that we just have a peace yep, and yep. we settle every single dispute, eh? Yeah, so. Fabulous. I want to go there for that want to go to one of the most beautiful places <laughs> in Egypt. Yes. So, um, what do you actually think was your, well, while we are here in the most beautiful place in Egypt or whatnot, what do you think was your best the meal? Falafel! Okay. I love the falafel. All right. Yes, and it was good with the um, the cucumber dip. The, the tzatziki. tzatziki. Hopefully. Right. <laughs> very good. Very good. And I think for me, it was definitely the kashari. It's the national I, dish. Honestly, I will not lie to you guys. I did not expect much. Like I thought it was gonna be crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> Rice and lentils, pasta, tomato, tomato sauce, yeah, it, onions. It, yeah, it just it just didn't seem like it would go well together. But honestly, Real guys, do one. not knock it until you try it. Seriously, right? right. Yeah. Indeed. And yeah. I mean, if you were to say, "All right, we're going to Egypt now," where would you want to definitely go back to? Like, I want to go to, to the Siwa Oasis. <laughs> Well, you are here. <laughs> I think for me, I would definitely have to say the thistle gorum dive. Oh yes. Um, I don't know if it's just because I'd be underwater or because I'd be seeing all of this amazing, you know, like there's even trucks that are still under there. Wow. So yeah, it's amazing once you look, once once you actually go and see just the breakdown of all of these things that were so were meant to. In land somewhere more. yeah mm -hmm. so yeah that would, i think that would be the most interesting for me good but yeah did you enjoy it yes yeah certainly did <laughs> well i did too and i hope you guys did as well so for now i am simone and i'm jacqueline and this is pending the real meal please guys be sure to like share comment and, and subscribe, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next vid. Okay, I wonder where we're going next. I wonder too. <laughs>